Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'll be taking you through the Cointracking.info lab. Cointracking.info is a great tool, so definitely get yourself comfortable with it. Once you go ahead and create your free account right up top, go to Enter Coins, Overview, and Manual Import. You're going to click New. Now, the timestamp is extremely important. So don't type anything in and use all of the drop-down menus provided for you. So our first transaction was on May 20th of 2020. At 12. All the transactions are going to be at 12 for accuracy sake. Now, I purchased 0.5 Bitcoin for $4,750 in USD. So we're buying the Bitcoin and we're giving up or selling the USD. And this would be considered a trade. Click New again for the next transaction. Go ahead and put in August 3rd of 2020 at 12 o'clock. Again, it's very important that you use all of these tools down here as opposed to typing up in the bar. Now I traded 0 0.07 Bitcoin for 2 Ethereum. So I'm buying 2 Ethereum. and I'm giving up 0 0.07 Bitcoin. Now on November 14th of 2020 at 12 o'clock, I'll be selling 0.1 Bitcoin for $1,608.91. So in other words, I'm buying USD and I'm selling my Bitcoin. Now this transaction is different. Since we are going to purchase a computer with 0.1 Bitcoin, it's going to be considered a spend, not a trade. Trade is the default for coin tracking when you're manually entering your coins. And we do this on November 20th or November 15th of 2020. For all the transactions, you don't have to worry about the transaction fee box or the optional details. Now you'll notice that one's different because it notes that it's a spend. And that's how that transaction should look in your dashboard. The last transaction is on December 1st of 2020. And notice that trade was the default, so you didn't have to click through it. You want to move the timestamp to 12. And I bought 0.1 Bitcoin for $1,916.67. Now double check, make sure that all those look right. If you happen to make a mistake on any of the timestamps, you can do that right there and update it. But just ensure that all of those match what was supposed to be recorded for your transaction activity during 2020. Now go up to reporting, 
go to gains, realized and unrealized gains. If you see that red bar or that box down below, press recalculate your trades. If you don't do this, you won't see the right answer. Now we see $1,429.04 in realized gains, and you can see your unrealized gains there as well. If you needed to, you could export this spreadsheet. Now our final step is going to tax report. Scroll down, make sure that we are getting the HIFO method, the highest cost first out for tax year 2020. If you scroll down, click generate a new tax report now. And there is your answer. $1,429.04 is our total capital gain. If you needed to actually export this, you could do so. They have a variety of types of files that you could export it with. And that's it.